opportunity to talk to everybody. Why don't we why don't we make our way over here for a minute? Ken, Cynthia, I'm going to No, no, I'm not going to toss to you just yet. Let's get a shot of Pete Van Weeren. Hey Pete, Pete, Pete Van Weeren. Come here. You've been doing you've been doing play by play for so many years for this team through so many lean years. What sort of emotion do you feel? Almost disbelief. This team has accomplished so much and the fans have been so great here. I don't know who to give more credit to, the team or the fans, but it's been just a remarkable year where everything has come together, and this is so much better than 1982 when everything happened early in the year. How so? But because of the nature of how they came back post-All-Star break? Yes, because of the way they played the second half, because of the way they overcame adversity all year, injuries to Bream and Justice, the Otis Nixon situation. Anytime something bad happened, this team rebounded immediately, and uh, I've never seen a team with as much focus on winning every day as this team has and still has. It's just been a remarkable year. Well, Pete, I know everybody who follows the Braves appreciates what you have done over the years and particularly your great work this season. Well, Thanks thank a lot. you very much, Jeff. Thanks, Peter. Hey, Jeff Blauser. It's got to feel good, right? You guys are a little bit low-key. We've, we've talked about Thanks, this over the past few minutes. Uh, it's been the story of the season all year. Nobody gets too high, nobody gets too low. I think uh, all that stuff that about being low-key kind of went out the window today after we won that ball game, but uh, I think it boils down to a matter of confidence. We know we're a good ball club and we know we deserve to be here. And we just let things take care of themselves. We uh, talked with Pete a moment about, you know, all of the adversity that you guys have been through in this marvelous season and whoever has been called upon, be it Frankie Cabrera, be it you, uh, be it Terry Pendleton, there's always been the clutch hit, the clutch play, the, the unforeseen, if you will. Well, I think what that boils down to, the team has always been prepared and everybody wanted to be in the situation to get the big hit or make the big play and it's, uh, it's just been, a, in a nutshell, it's been a magical year for us and there's no other way to put it. We've had a lot of luck and we've played well throughout the throughout the season and we're just happy to be here right now one game that you remember more than any other uh, today. <laughs> today is that the, the most memorable I've ever had to be in a, a situation like this but this is the best this is what it's all about this is like Christmas for us really. Jeff thanks a lot okay. we appreciate it we'll see you in Pittsburgh hey Mark Wallers uh, uh, come on over 21 years old, experiencing a championship, and you know how you, uh, this guy is young? Show him what's in that cup. Milk. Milk. Does your, body right. good. <laughs> does your body good and does your arm even better. Yeah, it does. The minor league player of the year, elevated uh, at midseason to come through and help these guys. Uh, what's it feel like for you? Are you able to comprehend this yet? I don't know. Maybe not really yet. I think after, after seeing the Dodgers get beat, it really hit me that, you know, we won it and everything, but... Um, I don't know. It, it'll, it'll hit me sooner or later. See, wh what's the difference? I'm 21 drinking milk. I don't think that's not milk. That's milk. milk. That's milk. That's milk. milk. Trust me. Kent Marker joins us. Guys, the bullpen has been a question that, that you know, that was a big one. A, a large portion of the year and coming into the season as well. <laughs> we saw one 21-year-old's drink. Let's see what's in this one. Yeah, that's milk, too. That's right. That's that 2% that's that stuff. Hey, there we are. David, let's see these hats. These hats are good-looking ones, aren't they? Oh, yeah. You know, Special that, design. That looks good on me. It's a good looking hat. <laughs> so now I was going to get on TV till you came around. No, that's okay. You do the interview right now. Any questions you want to ask of him, David? Go yeah, ahead. I'll, can, I'll sort of can uh, you, overlook you. You're probably one of the most dominant left-handed relievers in the game. And uh, how does it feel to be such a great pitcher? Uh, well, feels good. <laughs> feels, feels good. Uh, I tell you what, anyway, we have two of the best young pitchers in baseball oh, right now. And, and, Steve right Avery, ever. and Steve Avery and Kent Merker. Mash Keep rooting for us. Avery, We're going right. to go all the way. And stay with us forever. That's where we are. Oh, yeah, they're left-handed, too, throwing gas. <laughs> I, I'm just happy to be playing with them because I could never hit these two. Listen, do I have to give you any sort of talent fee for doing this, or do you do this for free? No, you got to pay me. Hey, uh, hang on a second pay me for Hang on a second. Let me... Let me think what that interview All right, is worth. I've got, uh, I've got about 18 cents. Right, that's okay. it. David, count. thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate it. Let's find Jeff Treadway. Kent, do, we didn't talk to you long enough. So hang around. Okay. Stay with All us right. for a while. You interview me. Then. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, how how great this has to be for you. And I think about all the things that you've been through as an Atlanta Brave. Is it a feeling hey, of relief? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most definitely. I mean, it's been <clears throat> the last. The last few years just been uh, hard, and uh, <laughs> I, you know I've watched the Braves from, for so many for so many years, and uh, yeah, as a kid going at the University of Georgia, I mean you, you followed him through a, a lot of years that were not necessarily great. <laughs> the sandwich almost took a dip there. I think we're going to give the uh, sandwich a standing aid count. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, I can remember watching the 82, and uh, I was at University of Georgia then, and uh, just what a great thing it was for Atlanta. And this seems to be uh, even that much more special for the people here. The fans were outstanding. We, we took a trip around the, the stadium out there just to say thanks. It's, it's just a great feeling. It's just uh, you couldn't have asked for it to happen in a better way. And it's just been uh, exciting the whole year. And uh, uh, it's just, <laughs> you know, I, I don't get nervous usually, but I was as nervous as I could be today. Jeff, thanks a lot. Congratulations. We will see you in Pittsburgh. Continue to give them heck. Thanks, Jeff. All right. What else do we want to talk about? Let's talk about Pittsburgh a little bit. You ready to go up there? Oh, definitely. You know, it, it might have helped us a little bit. You know, they've had four or five, six days off, and they might have shut it off a little bit, and they got to turn it back on to, to prepare themselves where, you know, we've been playing the whole time. So I think we're the momentum from this series is going to carry right over into Pittsburgh. Ken Merker, thanks a lot. We appreciate you coming by. All right. You're looking good. <laughs> we're going to go back to you, Ken and Cynthia, in the studio.